Hi everyone and welcome to another video on uh, Auto for XP creation. In this video, as promised uh, in previous video, I'm going to show you a bit more advanced uh, techniques on how to uh, batch build or create multiple tiles uh, in one go. This can be uh, quite uh, quite good to know. Uh, normally you won't be sitting waiting around an, an hour and then setting up a new tile and you'll need to be available. But if you, let's say you are heading out to work and or doing something else and you could, you could set it up and it could be running for you all day, right? So it's a quite uh, effective way to build multiple tiles and really get something done. And it's uh, also a method that I uh, use quite often uh, for exactly those reasons. And it's not really that difficult and there are various ways to build uh, multiple tiles. Um, so uh, as you can see here on my screen, I am uh, focused on Bulgaria. I do have built some tiles around here and I want to continue my work and make a batch build for these three tiles. So the first way you can do it is uh, a very quick and easy way. You really don't need to know much. So what you do is uh, you have you see the tiles here, right, that I mark. So you keep uh, the shift key down. So keeping shift down, click, then again, click, click. OK, and uh, you simply just uh, mark this off and batch build. And that's it. OK, so not much to it and of course you need to choose your source first uh, out here and then batch build so uh, this will just make general tiles and, and take uh, whatever mesh you have uh, you have assigned to it uh, from uh, from explain but uh, what I would like to do is uh, what most people do we we tend to um, to use our zoom levels uh, to uh, remove clouds or uh, highlight uh, airports and cities, right? So uh, that's what uh, most people uh, will do while making auto for XP tiles. And I'm going to show you that and I, I'm also going to show you how to use uh, Alpilot's mesh uh, on top of these tiles. Uh, it's quite easy, not as daunting as it sounds. Uh, some easy steps to remember. Now this technique, the first one, I just show you like this, right? Uh, I do tend to use it actually when building uh, like here. Uh, this is areas that I'm going to be cruising over. I'm planning a world tour, so you can see I have a lot of tiles here, zoom level 16. Um, so for these tiles, I am a bit lazy. I don't care too much about clouds or anything. I'm not interested in uh, adding any mesh on top. So what I could do is like this, boom, 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 boom. And then just, uh, of course, they should be together like this, right? And set it up, hook it off, batch build, there you go. Okay, and then I can come back from work and then I have this row here ready. And most of this area here, I know it's desert, right? So, so I just want more or less some textures or some colors and I'm going to be a cruise level. Uh, so just uh, that you have this, uh, not a generic desert that the x will put in, but um, some more uh, vibrant desert. Anyhow, um, let's focus on these uh, tiles here. So uh, I ha I don't know if you can see it, but I have been building using Arc as uh, as the provider around here. Uh, it is the best provider for this area. I have found Google and Bing isn't that good. Uh, Google is very patchy, very patchy indeed, and the Bing is just one mess of cloud and patches. So Arc seems to be the most consistent source. Now I do not have any particular areas of interest in this area here. Uh, places I would come in and land is like in Varna, perhaps, uh, perhaps someday in Sofia, but not for now. And then of course you have Istanbul down here, I've not gotten that far, but actually this area here is an area I expect to be uh, in or at the uh, cruise level altitude, right? So, um, so and there's not much going on city-wise, but I would like to at least cut out uh, some serious cloud issues. So uh, the first thing we'll do here is uh, we'll start from an end, look at the... Uh, Look at the tile number, it's uh, 4226. So I'll just pop on here and choose arc, and we can go to zoom level line. And let's uh, take a look at arc. Boom. So as you can see here, fairly consist consistent. Have these clouds I won't really bother too much with because it would be worse if I switch them, I would get a patchiness. So here we have some issues, right? So we'll need to address 
this part here at least but um, but for the most part uh, it actually looks okay uh, the colors are good and strong and, and I like that so so what we'll do is uh, we'll choose uh, Google as our uh, as our uh, source for for the changes here and uh, 17 so I'll keep shift down as I showed you in the previous video now if you haven't watched the previous uh, author for XP video um, I highly recommend that you look at that first before doing this here because you'll get some more info so that's looking good apply save zone um, and the same here right so you could either do something like this this can be the most time-consuming part of, of everything here so uh, apply save zone I'm not too finicky now I uh, just want to roughly make sure that this here goes away and uh, it doesn't make a perfect fix because it will be changed with the uh, Google um, apply safe so with Google imagery right which will be in different colors and uh, maybe from this different time periods or times of the year seasons and so on so you will uh, notice it um, but maybe not at as much as the cloud and if you're flying over here in a uh, scattered or cl cloudy weather and you're looking down it, you, it tends to the shadows from the clouds uh, in the sim tend to actually mask any color differences pretty well you will see them though it's not perfect but uh, as i say to some people who are really uh, asking about these clouds how to get rid of them and how to make it perfect this isn't a perfect science right um, it's a it's a transaction that you you change uh, the in the it's not perfect but you change the explain generic terrain um, with this here and you get uh, you get photo real scenery but the price is that you will have some color differences and some issues like this here right so I'll, I'll just uh, stop it there just uh, <laughs> to make this video too long so let's say this is a uh, this tile here done right so I apply a safe zone just to make sure and then I exit okay and then I can uh, go on to this one here and uh, oops not going in there I can do the same thing right uh, open up boom now before this video I have checked uh, Bing and Google and uh, they are not uh, <laughs> not really uh, much better than uh, so arc is the best choice for this is so this tile here doesn't look half bad we do have some clouds here so I could do something like this right and apply save zone and let's just say that's perfect for now so let's just exit this and last but not least I would do the same for this one here okay now once we have done all that and we have chosen our zoom levels let's say there's an airport we have zoomed into as well uh, we, ha we have uh, applied all of this what we need now is to add our mesh right so what i'll do i get my uh, xp tools um, again if you don't know what it, this is uh, it's basically a grinder that change knocks open the file and rewrites it um, but you can learn more about that in a different video on my site so let's see here we are looking at the uh, tiles uh, 42, 24, so that'll be 25, 26, right? So we are looking for 42, uh, 24. So let's look here on this side here. 40 and 20s. 42, 22. 42, 24. Let's just. So yes, yeah, so we need to go to 24, right? That's my morning memory here. So we have these three files. These are the ones we need. So I'll mark all of them. Copy. I'll drag them. Now if you're wondering the language, it's Norwegian. So but it's copy paste basically. So now I have moved them to, uh, I can just move this. It's important not to drag, but to copy. Okay, so you don't remove your mesh. So I will change these to uh, seven zip files. Seven zip yeah that's the warns me that the file can become unusable let's uh, just disregard that same with this yep 
and I'll show you how you can grind multiple tiles in the grinder. So there you go. So that's those those uh, three files. So we mark all of them. Open internally. Unpack internally. There we go. Unpacked. I can press delete. Delete the originals. Then we'll open the grinder tool. And we'll mark these three files here. Uh, as you'll notice, they have uh, increased in size. That's how you can tell that they have been been uh, changed and reopened in the 7 zip form. So we'll put them here. Boom, 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 wait, waiting game. And if you're in really, uh, don't, uh, it looks like it has freeze, right? Just leave it be. Don't start uh, panicking and uh, clicking all sorts of, of stuff. And sometimes it can take a while, especially if you have a lot of polygons in, uh, if you do like a tile up here in, uh, in the Alps, where you have a lot going on terrain wise, you have a lot more data. So uh, it can take a while longer, but uh, this shouldn't take too long now. So just let it finish its grind. And it should be all about done now. So what we have done now basically, uh, while we wait for this here, is that we have uh, chosen our, we have gone into each individual tile, right? chosen the source so that it's done and we have done our zoom levels and uh, changed uh, removed the clouds and all that stuff you know i have showed you several times now so we have done that for each of the three tasks that we are looking for today we close this and uh, now we try to add the mesh here so uh, what will all we need is the elevation right so we can just uh, remove oh, not the, we can move the rest here so we have three elevation tiles, so we can just delete the rest gone with that. So these are the three tiles that we need, right? So what we'll do now, let's go back to author for XP. We'll start here at 42.24. Just check that the imagery uh, source provider is the one we want, that the zoom level is correct, and that our base folder, the place where the tiles go, is correct. Then we can go into the toolbox here, and we can open this here. And as you can see, I have uh, used the difference, but we can do this to uh, locate the XP tools folder where you will find these files. So 4224. Be sure to to be careful that you have this right, otherwise you'll have to redo the whole tile. So it's much easier to spend 10 seconds more just cross-checking especially if you're you're batch building multiple tiles it's really easy to get lost and do something wrong but this here is correct 4224 4224 so instead of a write app config apply exit all you do is press write tile config okay boom done and apply that exit then we go on to the next one 4225 and we imagine that we already have our zoom levels uh, saved in here, so we don't need to worry about that. Back into the toolbox and 4225. It will also always be set on the last tile that you, so you need to change it. Don't think that it auto selects it. Um, I'm not going to go into the water ratio or any, anything. Uh, if you're curious about that, go to the previous video about building the tile. So again here, right tile config, boom. Apply exit. And for the last one, and we'll go here 4226. I'll just look here, it's on the previous one, right? So you need to really change, be careful and change it to 4226. Set there. So right tile config. Okay. So now it's uh, all actually ready to uh, to go. Uh, so what we'll do is that we'll hold down shift and select these three, right? And then you uh, choose all of these and uh, instead of, uh, as I showed you before, where you just build them quickly, right? Um, just marking them. Now that you have the Alpilot mesh, you, uh, you can uh, hook off this as well. Read per tile config, okay? 
So when, when you have done that, all you need to do now, I'm not going to start it, but you click batch build and it will start the build process. Um, and the build process can take everything, it depends on how many tiles you have chosen. The three for these three files, I would expect it to be around two and a half to three hours because of Arc being a slow provider. So it takes about an hour per um, per tile for, with Arc. If, the, it will, if it were Google, we'll do it in less than an hour. Uh, so it really depends on the provider and of course your internet connection and uh, how, uh, how much uh, Zoom you're using on the individual tile. So for these here in Zoom, Zoom level 17, Arc provider, I would expect it two and a half to three hours and it would be completed. Um, and once the, the tiles are completed, you don't have to do anything else because you have already extracted the overlays. You don't need to do anything else. Uh, they are done. You can close the program and you can uh, drag the tiles onto your uh, designated folder, uh, as I have also shown in previous videos. So that's pretty much how you batch build multiple tiles and you can do this for as many tiles as you like. If you'd like to do this for 10 tiles, then go ahead. Um, it will just take uh, that much longer to for the for the download process to complete, right? So uh, pretty straightforward actually and a uh, useful uh, thing to know uh, if you're going away from your computer for uh, 6 or 8 hours and you, you would like the computer to at least be doing some, something uh, sensible. You can set it to build these tiles okay now again i do warn you do not do this with the uh, with google um, and set it up to build like 10 tiles using google as the main provider google has a tendency to block people and they do have some sort of download limit which bing or arc or the other providers doesn't seem to have so don't batch build with google you can use google as your uh, uh, fix source like uh, for fixing clouds and stuff like that but do not um, do not overdo it with google I tend to have a personal limit that I can do maybe three, four, maximum five Google tiles spread out throughout the day without any issues. But uh, I don't know where their hard limit is. I don't want to push it. I don't want to lose Google as a provider because once you get blocked, it's pretty much done for you. You need another IP address to, <laughs> to unblock yourself. So yeah, that's how you batch build um, multiple tiles in uh, Auto for XP version. Uh, 1.3. Uh, I hope uh, this here gave gave you some ideas on how to do it and uh, was uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, at least uh, I did my best to try and teach you and I wish you good luck in your uh, tile building and in your flying. So don't forget to subscribe and like, even share if you like. And I hope to see you in another video. Thank you and bye bye.